If you have ever been inside Serendipity Market in Edmond, <laughs> you've seen <laughs> Kathy Briscoe. Exactly. She has been a fixture here from the very beginning. I started be 30 years ago, November 10th, coming this year. Peter and Hallie bought this building from Randy's M&M. It was a big open shell. My husband and a group of volunteers and Peter and Hallie, Sherry the worker here, Ginger the old manager, we built these walls. We designed this space. When my husband was anchoring the walls, Hallie's children and my children, be grandchildren became very acquainted and they put their hands over their ears and when Papa would holler, fire in the hole. And then, <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. and, but they would sit and play with the scraps. What we didn't know at one point was that you had to have permits. And so we were almost finished and the fire marshal stopped and he stopped us dead in our tracks. <laughs> Serendipity eventually opened and Kathy has been greeting every customer with kindness ever since. And we had one lady who's husband died in one of the wars and she was pregnant and she'd come in every day in tears. And we just coddled her and encouraged her. And she came back about four years ago at one of our sales and just gave me the biggest hug. <laughs> she brought the 12 year old girl that she was pregnant with, with her. And it was so sweet. Serendipity is an outlet for her energy and creativity, nurtured since her childhood. My grandmother started me painting when I was eight years old with paint by number. My mother started me about that age sewing, making Barbie doll clothes. Kathy gave up craft shows years ago. We're in my booth at Serendipity Market. And with the help of her husband, opened her own booth. It is a beautiful assortment of new, repurposed, and handmade items. He said, why not try it? He's an amazing woodworker and welder. Yeah, we love working on things together. And he does corbels from scratch, from himself. I find objects and remake them. I, I love doing floral, so I love these pieces. I love the wooden stuff. My husband does a lot of wooden stuff. This came out of necessity because my new iPad was laying on the counter while I was cooking all winter. And so he made me a little iPad stand just out of little things in the garage. It's like the old tin came from the theater in Moore. It's an antique tin from the ceiling of a theater in Moore that actually burned down. I beaded the beads, made the napkin rings, antique glass globe chandeliers. I have pretty flowers and lanterns and then you turn around and I have a camping lantern for the men and flower pots and rain chains and little floral pieces and bunny rabbits and I specialize in birds. I've always loved birds and if you need a bird for a little corner, usually I'll have something you can use. Well you're going to find more unique things here than you will on Amazon. Here you get to touch them and feel them and see that they're the size you want and then somebody will have a birthday and you've forgotten them. It's like, oh, I know where to go. I can get a present and I can get a bag and tissue paper and a card all in one place. After 25 years of loyal customer service, Kathy Briscoe is retiring, sort of. She'll still have a booth here at Serendipity, but it's time, she says, to spend more time with family. She will be missed by colleagues and customers alike. She's my teacher, mentor, and my friend. Yes, I'm different. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me cry. <laughs> Recently, a surprise farewell <laughs> for a valued employee. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Kathy Briscoe may be leaving the nest, but she will always be a member of the Serendipity family. <laughs>